Let's compare InfraForge with MailReef. Unlike Gmail, Outlook or MailForge, both InfraForge and MailReef provide dedicated IP servers for your email infrastructure. This means instead of shared infrastructure, you have private email infrastructure. I explain both of these terms a lot more in depth in this video, I'll link it below. But in short, Shared infrastructure like Gmail, Outlook or MailForge is great for starters because the server reputation is built up by other people in the shared infrastructure. But if other users spam and use email for malicious reasons, they could also affect your deliverability as well. This doesn't happen with private email infrastructure because it's private. You have dedicated IP addresses and everything depends on you. If you follow basic old email rules that prevent you from looking like a spammer, you will have little to no problems at all. The deliverability is in your control. This also means that if you do act like a spammer, you might end up destroying your whole server's reputation. For that not to happen, I suggest watching this video about how to avoid landing in the spam folder. Now that we got that out of the way, what is the difference between InfraForge and MailReef? Both of them offer dedicated IP servers, both of them allow you to set up mailboxes in minutes with free DNS record setup, and both of them allow you to take email deliverability into your own hands. The main difference between InfraForge and MailReef is pricing. InfraForge starts at $4 per mailbox. And if you get more mailboxes, it gets to as low as $2.5 per mailbox. That's it. That's all you pay for. Now with MailReef, it's a little more complicated. It's a monthly payment of $249 plus a tenth of a cent per email sent. Meaning that on top of the $249 fixed monthly fee, you pay $1 for every thousand emails sent. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. MailReef offers unlimited free inboxes and unlimited sending limits. You might think this is a great thing and sign up for MailReef only to find out that this is not the case. Nothing is actually unlimited. There are limits but they are only shown once you pay and sign up for MailReef. The limits are there and they're pretty clear. You're limited to sending 100,000 emails even though you pay for them separately and you can only have 50 domains mains and 200 mailboxes. If you want more, you have to pay another $249 and spin up another server. So with this logic, MailReef is only unlimited if you have unlimited money. Now this won't happen with InfraForge because the pricing is listed clearly. You select how many mailboxes you'd like and get the pricing per mailbox. Nothing else and nothing more. There are no hidden costs and no hidden limits. So in conclusion, InfraForge is a more affordable alternative with transparent pricing. Now if you'd like to see other comparisons, I'd suggest checking out this playlist.